For the first time in 20 years, more than 100 heads of state are gathered in Rio de Janeiro for the United Nations' Second Earth Summit, a follow-up to 1992's Revolutionary Environmental Conference. CBC's Connie Watson reports this time expectations are considerably lower. After years of failing to meet environmental targets, negotiation fatigue has set in. There will be no binding agreements here. The hope is to set a new course for economic growth that doesn't devour the Earth's resources. An environmental activist tells the BBC the last-minute agenda for the summit reeks of inefficiency. Any progress that you hear about in press conferences is about progress to water down the text, to avoid commitment, and to, um, in reality, governments are clearly here to do nothing. The summit's so-called unimpressive goals, combined with early signs of dissension amid the delegates, have led most observers to write off the conference. A reporter for The Telegraph says the summit failed long before it even began. And a Fox opinion blogger calls Rio Plus 20 redundant and roots for its collapse. MSNBC knows the general decline in environmental interest since the 1992 Earth Summit and wonders if Rio Plus 20 will produce anything more than empty promises and indefinite resolutions. Not all the predictions for the summit are so gloomy, though. The Daily Beast argues Rio Plus 20 will provide a significant rallying point for environmental organizations. Although global agreements continue to elude negotiators, green initiatives in individual countries and communities and among corporations are prospering. Such a patchwork approach to climate change clearly is not enough. But while diplomats parse their tomes and treaties, it may be the greenest thing going. Rio Plus 20 lasts until June 22nd. For Newsy, I'm Christina Hartman. Multiple sources, The Real Story.